I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase D. This is a pretty cool one, people. The JP Piranha. Sort of a... Got a name for itself in the uh, reality show on Hulu and Disney, Super Hot, The Spicy World of Pepper People. Anyway, it was the second hottest pepper uh, in the event, in the show. Uh, it came out hotter than what the Reaper ever tested at. So it's hotter than any Reaper that's ever been tested. Bank on that. Believe it. It's just hotter. So let's all stop talking about that pepper. Uh, but the JP Piranha, this is a sauce from the Tor Notorious Sauce Company. So Max Decker, thank you so much. This is the first sauce that I've had with a JP Piranha. In it. So kind of excited about that. Let me read to you the ingredients in said sauce. People, it's called Medusa is the name of the sauce. It is seven pot primo mash. Okay, smoked passion fruit, smoked mango, smoked is what we're going on here. Uh, apple cider vinegar, red wine vinegar, bell pepper, brown sugar, or excuse me, brown onion, black garlic, JP, piranha powder, uh, tahine, salt, pepper, smoked paprika, and chili powder. And that's what we've got in this. And the, the name of the sauce is Medusa. Let me show you the label. This is what the label's gonna look like. It's pretty cool. Okay, so that's the label. And this is the sauce from Max Decker, the Notorious Sauce. If you have never subscribed to this channel, how come? Please do. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, throughout the entire video, right there is a little pepper. Do you know if you click that thing, you can become a subscriber here? Surprised you didn't know that. Um, Pepper season. You know, you guys know that the first box of Super Hots is on its way to my place right now. So the pepper season is just about on us. So excited about that. All right. Kind of excited about this sauce. You know, could be hot. Now, the JP Piranha, it's a hot sauce. Uh, hot pepper. No two ways about it. Um, not the hottest so uh, pepper I've ever eaten. But a spicy one, no doubt about that. Here's what's fun to know. It's hotter than any Reaper that's ever been tested. Kind of cool, isn't it? I think I've shaken this adequately. The Medusa. Did you hear that? It's the sweet sound of success. All right, so the aroma, it's, it, it's, it's, I tell you, it's an interesting aroma. You get the, I'm getting the onion, I'm getting the black garlic. Black garlic has a different aroma than garlic. It really does, it has a different taste. Here's the thing, if you've never had black garlic, it's almost a different thing altogether. It's not even the same. It's just, it's almost like a different ingredient altogether. All right, so here we go. Here's the pour of Medusa. There we go. All right, so from the Notorious Sauce, Max Decker, this is Medusa. It's kind of a different label, but this is the first sauce I've had with the JP Piranha in it. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this, most assuredly, is Chase the Heat. No, I can't pick up the, I'm not picking up mango and the passion fruit, but I'm picking up fruitiness, all right? So there's fruitiness in there, and it's a smoky fruitiness. As far as the heat, it's a hot sauce. I mean, it's not, I mean, look, if you're not a chili head, need not attempt to try this. You won't appreciate it. You won't like it. You won't. You know what I mean? Um, but if you're a chili head, you'll like it. Um, there's a nice smokiness. Um... It's a balanced sauce. Um, you know, it's fine. Every once in a while, you'll get a sauce where the flavors seem to fight each other. And that's a sauce where the, the, the creator doesn't have it balanced. And you have two competing flavors. 
flavors don't need to compete. If it's done properly, they complement each other. And then this one, with the the the, the onion, the black garlic, all the the the, the vinegar, that everything kind of nothing's competing with it, uh, each other. And that happens sometimes, but not here. Um, it's a spicy sauce, um, not just hot, but it's spicy. There's a lot of stuff going on in there. It's nice. I like the smoked paprika and the chili powder on the finish is neat. Um, the tahini, I don't really taste it, but if you, here's the thing about anything. If you ever have a sauce and you're looking for an ingredient and you can't taste it, forget about it. Just know this, if they removed that ingredient, the sauce wouldn't be the same. It's just the bottom line. So whether you get like a tahini, I can't taste the tahini in this, but if you remove it, this is a different sauce. As it is, it's very flavorful. It's hot. Um, if you're a non-chili head, like I said, you wouldn't appreciate it at all. If you're a chili head, you will like this. It's, um, it's got depth, character. It's complex in flavor. The heat for a chili head is probably a... I would say that depending on where you're at, it's going to be anywhere from a six and up. Most are probably going to call it a seven and up, but there are going to be some chili heads who will say it's a six. The flavor is great. Um, it's neat. All right, so there's a very first ever review of a product with uh, the JP Piranha in it. I've got some interesting statistics. I want to, some crazy things I want to read to you that are kind of interesting. Who wants to hear it? Huh? Um, a loose tooth. Crazy. A loose tooth almost jeopardized It's the Great Pumpkin by Charlie Brown. When Sally's six year old actress had a tooth get loose, they rushed her to the studio to get all of her lines in before it fell out and she started to lisp. Isn't that interesting? Little kid voices. Loose tooth. You can see how that would happen. You can see it, right? Uh, who saw the, uh, the movie The Blair Witch Project? By the way, if you eat enough of this sauce, you're going to get this. So if you need, if, if, when you know, you know. When you've had it, you've had it. All right? Go to johnnyscoville.com and get your shirt. There's also a fire hole shirt also. Uh, anyway, the original 35-page treatment for the movie The Blair Witch Product had, uh, project, had zero dialogue. True story. Uh, that was on purpose. The authors described what would happen, but they wanted all the lines to be ad-libbed by the actors themselves. Interesting movie. Ah, I've told the story before. I saw that movie. I was like the perfect dude to see that movie because I didn't know a thing about it. Nothing. My brother-in-law said, hey, you want to watch a movie? I, I hadn't had a day off in forever. I said, yeah, let's go. Sat down, not knowing what it was. Scared the pants off me. Ha! Oh, oh, forget about it. Um, all right, so... Uh, the OG, Michael, My the original, Michael Myers actor, Nick Castle, he did way more than you probably think, know or think he did. He's not just an actor. He's a writer, a director. He co-wrote Escape from New York and directed the 90s films um, uh, like Dennis the Menace. So he was a talented dude, not just a rip and murderer. He was pretty good at it, you got to admit. Uh, we're going to do just a couple more. The, it's estimated that the 2.5 billion uh, Tyrannosaurus Rexes, uh, excuse me, it is estimated that between 2 and 5 billion Tyrannosaurus Rexes lived on Earth. That's over the species' entire 2.4 million lifespan. And at any given moment in that lifespan, only about 20,000 T-Rexes were running around. Did you know that? I didn't. Um, wow, listen to this. In Operation Magic Carpet. Have you ever heard that? Military Operation Magic Carpet? Some of you probably have. The U.S. returned 8 million people home. The operation was led after World War II ended, involving getting an average of 22,220 soldiers back to the U.S. every single day for a year. It took a year to get them all back. 22,000 a day. Crazy. This is the last one I'm going to read. Then we're going to wrap it up. I hope you guys have a great day today. Don't forget, I want you to subscribe to this channel. Like this thing. You know why? Because it's a good video. Um, share this around. Right there is my son. I'm going to tell you ahead of time. My son, my brother. You know. Anyway, listen to this. In Bow Valley, uh, Canada, one grizzly bear has been dominant for a decade. He has the humdrum name of bear number 22, uh, 122. The dude is the, the top grizzly bear for a decade and you're gonna call him 122? 
Anyway, it weighs between 500 and 600 pounds. has been absolutely at the top of the local grizzly hierarchy for about a decade. Here's the deal. There's one in every group. Don't you think? Maybe not a decade. The guy's on a long run. He's got legs. But every, I don't care where you go. If there is a bear, if there is a population of bears, one's going to be the top dog. It's just the way it is, or top bear. That's just the way it works. That's how it works. So we just happen to know this one is 122. I think they should, uh, you know, we should start a movement. Name that bear. For goodness sakes, name it. 122? <laughs> Put you in the comment your, the best name for, for that bear. I think they should call him, I don't know, we think of a good name for a bear. Ned. Ned. They should name that bear Ned. That's my opinion. If you have a better name than Ned, go to the comment section and throw that name in there. What they should rename Bear 122 because it's shameful. A decade. The thing's been stomping other grizzly bears for 10 years in Canada, where there are really different bears than they here in the States. 10 years he's been dominating, and they're going to call him 122? Call him Ned. That's what I'm saying. In the description box, you're going to see a link for the notorious sauce, Max Decker. Uh, this is Medusa. It's not out yet will be soon right there that is my son johnny scoville jr please check him out he's over 400 subscribers wicked proud of my kid right there's my brother johnny school uh, tommy scoville all right that's the lifeboat right there that's all the challenges i've done 566 of them and there's going to be one next week a pepper challenge to mark the birthday of my friend aaron of his son 17th by the way happy birthday it's coming up it was already happened but this is for his birthday right there pepperology I love you guys. I'm Johnny Scola and this, this was Chase Thee.